So hello, it's Jeannie, and today is day 14 out of our 30-day money game. And this is a time for us to reflect in gratitude with what we are doing, because I added it up, and so far today, including the $14,000 that we are putting into our checking account, we have flowed $105,000. Think about that. And I want you to go back into your journal and look and see what you have been buying, what you've been spending this money on, and get into that feeling of it already happening. You know, make it real because what we are doing, it takes 21 days to cut new neural pathways into our brain. And so we're five, uh, I mean, we're seven days away from doing the uh, 21 days. But I want you to think about what you're spending this on and get into the gratitude. I do want to tell you that one of our women has her husband playing the game and he is such a, uh, a great guy and he's an entrepreneur and he wanted to, you know, kind of change the rules on the game and save up money. And she went, no, 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 that's not what the game is. You have to play it. You have to bring it in on a daily basis and you have to spend it on a daily basis. So he started to do that and he unexpectedly got a check for $9,500 for overpaying workers comp. And, you know, he's an honest guy. And he was like, well, you know, I probably would have gotten that anyway. And she went, no, it all counts because it came in now. So what have you been spending your money on? What have you been buying and what does that make you feel like? Now, remember, I redid my entire backyard. I bought a pool slide. I, uh, we dug a water well and made a, uh, a pump house for it. I bought my husband and I each a uh, sailfish, sunfish um, sailboat. I bought him for his upcoming birthday in a couple of months. I bought him a really high dollar, high tech metal detector. We've been going on trips. I hired a pilot and a, um, and a Learjet to fly us to the U.S. Virgin Islands. And here's what I want to tell you. In thinking about this, because I went over all of these things that I've been doing, I got into it. Now, I told you that I was lucky enough in, back in the day to have done a lot of private air jet travel. So I could see us driving up to the FBO and meeting the pilots there and climbing up the stairs to the, the jet and being settled uh, by the flight attendant into our really comfy leather seats and being offered a drink and looking out the window and flying up and taking off, you know, just like a shot. I knew what I was wearing. I could identify what clothes I had, what it looked like out above the clouds. So the more real you make this, the better it's going to be. So what did I spend my $14,000 on today? Well, one of the things that I did is I decided that I need an assistant and I need someone to handle my social media, do my Instagram, you know, all of that, which frankly, I'm not interested in doing it, but I probably should be. And I decided to hire this person at $3,000 a month and pay them three months ahead of time. So that's $9,000 out of the 14. That leaves $5,000 left. Left. So what am I going to do with that $5,000? Well, I've decided that I am going to um, invest that in making uh, our house more user-friendly. We live in a 73-year-old house. And it has been upgraded over the years, but, you know, there's a lot of plugs that are dead and they just don't work. And, um, you know, they're in silly places like behind doors and, you know, the technology just hasn't been kept up, even though we have a, a lot of good stuff and out in the cottage too, too. So I am in the process of taking that $5,000 and totally rewiring the house and the cottage, and also putting in a new HVAC system into the cottage. What have you been spending your money on? And how does that make you feel? I want you to really make it real. If you've been 
giving money to people or if you've been buying something really cool like one uh woman and her husband said that they took combined their five thousand dollars uh on day five to make it ten thousand dollars and they replaced all of the windows in their house now think about that make it real what are you spending your money on and how does it feel and let's get into our gratitude big time okay what are you grateful for? I am so grateful that I have the time and the ability to do this money game and to present it to people, to lift people up and to help you. Because guess what? It helps me too. It heals me to get into the idea of really doing things that make a difference in life. Many people are worried about the economy. And I'm just like, you honest to God don't need to worry about that. And I'm not saying you just need to blow it off. But when we change our attitudes, when we change our thoughts, when we change what we are doing, and this daily practice of the money game is changing things at a cellular level. So let me hear from you, share what you're doing, share what your realizations are for the first 14 days. Tell me how it feels to you. And tomorrow we'll be at day 15, so we will be at exactly the halfway point in our 30 day game. Have a great day. I love you, I bless you. I am so happy that we're doing this together. And I'll see you tomorrow.